Hi, this is Mr. Nazarian. Our lesson objective today, I can apply and extend previous understandings of multiplication to multiply a fraction by a fraction. Fifth grade standards, numbers and fractions, B4. Here we have one-third times one-half. And we have done quite a bit of work on adding and sub subtracting fractions. This begins our work on multiplying fractions, which is exciting. Um, so... Um, one third times one half. Another way that we can think about when we're multiplying fractions, another way of saying them is, um, is in, we can kind of substitute this uh, multiplication uh, symbol with the word of. So um, and it won't always work, and we'll we'll work through that um, as we go. But um, a lot of times we can think of of. So like for example, this is one third of one half, one half of one third. Um, so the first how we're going to start working with this is with a visual representation. So I started off with with showing you what one-third might look like, right? Um, and of course this is one-third because there's uh, three equal uh, parts and one of those parts is shaded. So this is one out of the three. One-third. So right now we have the one-third but now we want to find one-half of that one-third. So a great uh, way to do this visually is um, you can see that I divided this rectangle into thirds with these uh, vertical lines. And now I'm going to take the other fraction that I'm multiplying the other factor, and I'm going to divide it with uh, horizontal lines. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to divide it into two parts, like a top part and a bottom part there, right? Because I'm dividing into one half. So I have dividing into two, two uh, rows, right? I have three columns and I have two rows because I'm dividing uh, I'm dividing by two here because I'm multiplying by one half. And so I have two rows total and one of those rows is going to be shaded. So I'm going to do, let's do blue here. And so I'm going to shade one of these two rows. A little messy. Excuse me. Do my best here. So you can see that one half of the rows that I created for this rectangle are shaded, right? Um, so my my answer of this one third, right, which was just this shaded part, I took half of it. So now it's just you can see it's where the red and the blue overlap. So it makes this purple here. So where these two shaded parts overlap, that is my answer. So I have this part here, one out of the total amount of areas that I've separated into through my, uh, my lines here. So I have one that's purple out of one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means that one third times one half equals one six. Okay, one third of one half or one half of one third would give you one six. Do another one. If I have one fourth times two thirds, do I'm going to do a visual for this again here. I'm going to do one fourth first, and it doesn't really matter which one I do first. I just happen to use the first factor here, which was one fourth. So I'm taking one fourth times two thirds. So I uh, first made the one-fourth by taking this rectangle, dividing up into four equal parts, and shading, so that gives me the denominator, and then shading one of those parts, that gives me the numerator, which is this one here. So one out of the four equal parts is shaded. But I'm going to multiply two-thirds. I want to know what two-thirds of this one-fourth is. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to divide it into thirds. So, dividing that into thirds. So you can see there's three rows now, right? And I'm going to shade how many of those rows? Correcto. I'm going to shade two of those rows. Because I'm looking at two-thirds of it, not one-third of it, two-thirds. So, oops. Okay, so one, two of these rows. Again, this is not perfect. Okay. So, doo -doo. 
do 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 sing a song have some fun all right so as i'm coloring this in here i want you to be thinking about what part of that is as an overlap is has the blue part of the two-thirds and the red part of the one-fourth okay and where these have overlapped, right? Because the thing is, is we're looking at two-thirds of not the whole, right? We don't want all of this blue. We just want the two-thirds of this red part, of this one-fourth. So it's just this amount. So we have here one, two parts out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that gives us what is a fractional number? What would be the name of this as a fraction? One-fourth times two-thirds. It would be, excuse me, it would be one-two, right? Out of the twelve means so it'd be two twelfths. All right, so here we go. The first one gave us one-third of one-third times one-half gave us one-six, correct? Let's check to make sure. Whoops. Yep. One third times one half equals one six. And the second one was one fourth times two thirds gave us two twelfths. This is what I want you to do. Look at those those problems and tell me what kind of pattern do you see? What do you observe when you see that? One third times one half equals one six. And then look at one fourth times two thirds equals two twelfths. What do you notice? Okay, hopefully you noticed that the answer here of the numerator is the same. Will is will is the answer to these two numerators multiplied together. So one times one equals one. True enough, right? And the denominator, the answer here, the product is the product of these two denominators that I'm multiplying. So 3 times 2 equals 6. If you look at this one, 1 times 2 equals 2. 4 times 3 equals 12. So all we're doing when we're multiplying fractions is, as far as um, an algorithm, what we're doing is we're just multiplying across. That's all that we're doing. Um, I really wanted to see you as a visual. I'm going to expect that you can show me that um, multiplying fractions with that visual representation. But as far as when we have those numbers and we're crunching those numbers, we just multiply the numerators across and multiply the denominators across. And that will give us our product. So go ahead and solve this then. One-fifth times three-fourths. What is the product of one-fifth times three-fourths? Well, all we're doing is multiplying the numerator across. 1 times 3 equals 3. Multiplying the denominators across. 5 times 4 equals 20. That's our answer. Okay, we are going to work more on that tomorrow. See you then.